Welcome to my video on how to repair a lifter arm on a Jayco Flamingo 2010. This van was imported from Australia as an ex-rental into New Zealand so it's a little bit rough around the edges. On our last trip this back left uh, lifter seized up and then collapsed so uh, it's time for replacement. You can't quite see it there but there is a bolt and nut in the top left which fixes the uh, lifter arm to the roof. Um, that can be undone with a 7 16th size spanner or 11mm metric um, if you've got that. Uh, so I'm supporting the roof with a broomstick just to take the weight. Uh, for us the plastic retaining clip separated when we tried to muscle down the lifter to get it to move. Um, so I don't recommend that. The internal spring popped out and we had to catch the roof. So uh, <laughs> not the best idea. But it's back together for this video. Um, what you'd do is you'd come into the van, go to the respective corner and make uh, room by clearing the access panels. Uh, for the purposes of this video I'll show you the front. So there is a bracket at each corner, um, as you can see there with four screws in it. So the outside screws fix the bracket to the van. There's two black screws in on the internal part of that bracket, which you can't quite see, but they are what hold the lifter arm to the caravan. So it's a matter of undoing the, the two black uh, internal screws, which you can see there, and then pulling that lifter arm out and freeing that. Um, it's the reverse with a new lifter arm going in. You may have to tap it gently with a block of wood just to seat that right and align it. While I'm here, I'll show you the pulley system um, at the front of the van, which is a um, has a metal plate with four eye bolts. Um, they have cable connected to them, which run to each respective corner. And at, the, at each corner, there is a large spring which drives up the lifter arms. And that's all driven by the main crank handle there. So good luck with your repair. I hope this helped in some way, even though it was short and sweet. Thank you.